show you a little tour of Ellie and my house. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay, living room is as you see. Coffee table was vintage from Treasure Mart, which is here in Ann Arbor. I spray paint everything gold, as you'll notice in the house. So this was actually, this is a West Elm side table that's typically sold in silver, and I just sprayed it gold because I thought it would look better. No, no, if there are any questions out there, no, I just sprayed it. No, that was it. Put a can of spray paint on it, done. Um, these chairs, I had the cushions redone. I wanted them to look like leather, so I used velvet and had those remade. And the rugs from West Elm, that's Ellie's perch all the time. Now we're in the dining room. And this is, in case anyone's wondering, black. It looks just off, it's not a pure, pure black. It's called Black Beauty by Benjamin Moore. Fun fact, you can, I, it's, this is not actually Benjamin Moore paint. I just got the color and had that color applied to regular paint at Lowe's. So you can do that to save money if you don't want to get the uh, Benjamin Moore exact paint. When I was moving from Austin to Ann Arbor, I had this really like fun little meetup for people that lived in Austin before I left and this one woman came and she was incredible. She brought these flowers and then arranged the flowers on the spot for me and it was such a treat to be able to watch her do her magic. And one of the things she taught me was that you can kind of play with flowers. So if you're trying to do a photo shoot or just have friends over and your flowers aren't as open as you'd like, you can kind of like open them up more if that's something you're looking for. This table is my favorite thing that I own. It will be my tombstone, it will be in my will, it will be somewhere in my life, God willing, <laughs> for the rest of my life. I got it in Chicago at a thrift store called the White Elephant, which is no longer around, very sadly, for like $300. So the kitchen is pretty straightforward. When I moved in, it was Cheerio box yellow. This had a very, I don't know what I want to call it, but a very colorful background, and I was just like, paint it all white, replace the ceiling fixture, which is a uh, Ikea, actually. Pretty cool, and then I just sprayed the thing. You'll notice I sprayed the hardware uh, gold, just again. Nothing fancy, guys, I just sprayed it with a can. Um, it doesn't stay the best, so I probably want to redo it this year. I would say, you know, there's probably better tutorials out there for people that actually do DIY projects that would stay longer. Sprayed the handle of the fridge because this is kind of like a college fridge, nothing special here, but by spraying the handles, I think it turned out better. But again, there is a little wear, so I wouldn't say I've figured out the magical answer to that kind of stuff, but I think it looks cute. Also, I didn't have much storage. Like, really, I have, like, glasses in here, and then I, I've just got these, so I made a pantry wall. So for anyone else that likes mason jars, doesn't have a lot of storage, and wants a solution, these are just Ikea picture shelves. They're pretty deep. There's like a shallower one, which is not the one you want. You want the deeper ones. And then you can put as many mason jars as you can buy. But the cool thing is I use mason jars for everything. So there are my water glasses and they're my storage. So they're just kind of all interchangeable in the house. Welcome to the bathroom. Besides the hallway, this and the exterior of the house, this is where I put most of my design juice and money into the stuff that I did to improve the house. So when I moved in, it was kind of an aqua color wall, which was pretty, but just not my thing. And it didn't really have any ceiling trim, so I wanted to have everything matched this beautiful shower curtain that I had made in Austin. And then got the Ikea shelf to add a little extra storage and found some restoration lights in a pottery barn. Um, medicine cabinet. Okay guys, so this is the guest room slash office that I do the lively show out of. So I usually record the lively show here or do the intros and outros as well. And otherwise, I've got guests like Megan who's holding the camera, sleeping in the guest bed. And it's kind of like, it's not really a hodgepodge, but I wouldn't say that these, they kind of look a little campaign-like together, but they don't really totally match so tell me about these books. A lot of them are from the Lively Show. So we've got like Tara Moore's Playing Big. We have this one a Lively Show listener sent to me. This one's really interesting. This is uh, everything that's happened for women in the uh, 1960 and beyond in America, which has been fascinating as I learn more about fa feminine and masculine energy. Um, the Royal We. Oh, love the Royal We. We've had the guests, uh, Heather and Jessica, the authors on the show. I'm hoping and praying for their book to become a movie. I can't wait. 
Gary Vaynerchuk, Lewis Howes. Coming up in season three, we're going into sex. So get ready. It's going to be good. There's so much to be said about this that I've learned since uh, interviewing Sherry Winston. So June or July is going to be Feminine Energy Month, and we're going to go more into that then. And then, of course, two favorites. we got Seven Habits and uh, A Course in Miracles. So a grand three feet away, this is my bedroom. This is where I sleep with Ellie. And as you can tell, it's kind of like an awkwardly shaped room. It's a little narrow. So I had Mr. Lively build or kind of design them and he put them together, these like nightstands that are about 15 inches deep and they're just Ikea brackets and wood that we found and stained and sanded and put together. Welcome to the closet. It is not one of those giant rooms within a room, you know, with all the islands and everything, but it's totally functional and perfect for me. Uh, I've got obviously clothes here, shelves for stuff. Pretty straightforward. I got a cute little rug at the Treasure Mart recently and it's kind of cute. I like that there's little jaguars on it. All right, so now you guys have seen the house, all 1,000 feet of it. I hope you enjoyed it. For links to the items in the house, you can do so in the show notes below. And now it's time to go pack for Europe. So I hope you guys have a great day and I like you. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> She's modest. When you head to see where the magic happens. <laughs> Which magic are we talking about? Elderflower and Bentiver.